Welcome to Let's Get Planned. This is Rachel Banks. Let me share my passion of decorative planning, journaling, and all things crafting, which will include hauls and stationary sub unboxings. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, let's jump into this video. Okay, guys, so let's jump into this plan with me and my personal planner. I'm going to be using the following products. So I have this sticker sheet from Black Paper, a Nubian Rock Chick super super cute um i have this old sticker sheet from isazella jewel where i just want to use a, a few of the remaining items on it and then i have this um sadie's sticker sheet that i've been holding on to for forever it came in a oops bag um this is flower garden so this is the only sheet that i have but i thought that it would pair perfectly with this mini rose co kit that i've been hoarding i'm just gonna go ahead and use it guys this one is the plants are life look at how super cute this sticker kit is so super cute and then i thought that these stickers would pair well with some florals from the muted blooms sticker book from live love posh okay guys and i am going to be jumping into my personal planner which is a gold mine and cocoa uh, planner so i have the planner cover from gold mine and cocoa it is so beautiful guys i love the feel of it um and then let's just open it up so you can see all of the things on the inside of the cover i have this die cut that i made from this doll that's available right now in my shop she is so super cute she is a limited edition the one is sitting down um like this is limited edition and then i have my initials from peach palmetto that i've had forever i finally started using my drip gang um paper clips that i got from cookie sticker Co. this was a part of her um sub box when she was doing sub boxes it was either last year or the year before last then i have this beautiful clip that's kind of like dripping queen dripping drip gang super cute and it's got the bling to match this bling um this is from from love and lights charm okay love it so much love all of her products and her shop they are quality they are cute it's just you know it adds some beauty to your planners and then i have this cute bow right here from thrifty crafty queen and then i have this pen right here from let's see if this is this live love posh or uh villa beautiful live love posh so this came in one of live love live love posh's boxes um love this pen love the gold hardware and this planner is so cute now the pockets um you have this one pocket right here and then you have these two pockets on the side right here and so this is how you're able to you know kind of like decorate on the inside it's got black hardware which i love um and then i made this um intro sheet right here that has my name and a doll from my shop and then the washi around it is from melanin mini absolutely love it um and then i have my vision board in here using stickers from my shop um so the florals the quotes and all of the dolls you see here are available right now in my shop the quotes came from the the 2020 the 2023 inspirational sticker kit um and on there you have stickers that says inspirational board or you can use affirmation board so this is my 2023 um, affirmation board so so super cute love it very inspirational um and then i decorated the back of it just so there's not a blank page with again a doll from my shop some quotes from my shop and some florals from live love posh and then um because the planner that i'm using the inserts i use and didn't come with um divider monthly dividers i just cut down some old hp classic dividers that i had um and just use that and so that's what i'll be doing and i decorated the inside of this particular divider with some florals and i pulled in these pockets guys i'm trying to use all of the things that i have just been hoarding so i've been sitting on the pockets that came from isis ella jewel love them so you're able to stick stickers in here i cut down this card right here from um gold mine and cocoa and stuck it in there it says my resources are plentiful and i have more than enough um and then this particular um pocket already had wording on it, it says trust your intuition love those dolls from live love i mean from isis ella jewel and then the florals again came from live love posh and then i used one of the papers that came in the gold mine and cocoa sub box and i added some um washi along the sides this is from simply gilded and i added um a doll 
and this sticker right here from my shop this was actually a freebie for my patrons so every month whenever my patrons place orders in my shop they get a freebie sticker sheet that's relevant for whatever's happening um as long as it's not anything that's like religious or anything like that whatever's relevant for the month that's what i try to give them um as part of a freebie that comes with all of their orders um monthly and then this is my first monthly look at how cute this is um again this is using some florals from live love posh this is the doll they came with um the freebie for the patrons and then hashtag using the things guys i came in with some circles from cloth and paper so you guys know i get the cloth and paper sub box and so i came in with these um circles that i had been hoarding because i just couldn't find a way to really use them i like the concept of using them but the way that i plan I don't necessarily go back and pull these type of stickers out. And so that's why another reason why I kind of added this pouch in here. I'm going to stick, where's the pouch? Right here, I'm going to stick some of those stickers in here so that they're readily available. And that's part of the reason why I don't always grab them. Because once I decorate everything and I just start writing in it, I'm not pulling for more stickers if that makes sense. But if I have them right here, then I can just pull them as I need them. So this is how this is looking. And then this is some using gold mana cocoa inserts, weekly inserts. Um, for the most part, I am switching it up a little bit, and I'll tell you why shortly. Um, but every week has kind of like a currently week page where you have um, sections to write down priorities, your to-do list, things that you need to buy, um, a follow-up list, and then you have this appointment checklist right here we can put in the time and then what you got going on and things that um you know you ate or if you're going to meal prep and so i'm going to use this section right here to document things that i eat for breakfast lunch and dinner uh because i am trying to um get healthier and lose some pounds so i do decorate these pages and add florals and of course the dolls and quotes if i can um, and so that's what's going on. Okay, guys, so this is my New Year's spread. Okay, absolutely love it. And then this is the week after. I was testing some um, a freebie sheet that went into the patrons. Um, that went with patron orders for this month. Um, so that's what I was doing here. Excuse the paper. I had way some water on it. And then this is the current week. Okay, absolutely love, 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 love this spread. And so now let's jump into the next week. So I am going to be decorating. I might come in here and decorate this um, page too, the currently weekly thing. But I'm testing out some inserts that I plan to introduce in the shop later on this year, maybe even next month. I'm not really sure. So one of the reasons why I created these inserts and wanted to test them right away is because... You'll see. So I already decorated my Valentine's Day spread using the sticker kit for my shop. But anyways, the boxes um, in the Gold Matter Coco um, weekly, vertical weekly, is a little too small for my particular handwriting. Um, so you'll see the um, boxes kind of hang over. And these are for the HP Classic. Like they hang over tremendously. And so it's just a little too small for my handwriting. Now I'm going to use them. Um, because I do have stickers from Go Matter Coco that will fit perfectly in here. But for all of the other stickers that I have on hand, um, it's just, and, and plus the way that I write, the way that my, my planning style is just a little too small for me. Um, so I created this um, insert and I'm testing it out. So I just created this and I wanted to test it. Um, and so you have these full boxes that are... Um, almost or close to the hp classic size so i'll be able to easily use the stickers i already have on hand plus it'll fit my handwriting and then let me get up close so you all can see but they have these very faint lines which is perfect for me um in my handwriting because sometimes i write ain't on an angle even when i'm trying to write straight it'll go on the angle but if i have a line it's i know that sounds crazy but if i have a line there i can write straight if there's no line i'm on an angle i don't know what that's about but that's what i do um i try to keep the day of the week font very simple um and then i have this little box right here that says positive note um just so i can kick my week off on a positive 
no <laughs> so you can write down a little positive note for the week and then i left i put a box right here and i left it blank so that um you can do what you want to do with it if you want to make it like a an additional checklist priority list an appointment list um you can write down your meals um just anything you want in this little box so again i just made it and so now i'm testing it out to see how it works functionally and if I can use it to decorate one. Okay, guys, so since I showed you what I plan to use, if I do come in with anything else, like additional stickers or washi, I will either show it clearly so you can see where it comes from, or I will list it below. I'm gonna cue in this music, so let's get playing.
Let me know how you feel about this spread. I know it's all over the place, guys. I pulled in a Sadie sticker and mini rose cold kits thinking that they will go perfectly together. However, the washi on the Sadie sticker um, had blue florals in it, which collided with or would have collided with the uh, florals that came from the Live Love Posh book. Um, so I got stuck. I went and grabbed um, some washi. So I came in with this um, script washi and kind of tore it to kind of give it kind of like a, a journaling look, so to speak. Or I don't know, it's giving me some French vibes, journaling vibes, all the things. Um, the colors kind of go together and they kind of don't. But I'm still going to use it. I know it's going to look much better after the pen. Um, and I love, love. And see, that's what you, your spreads should be a representation of what will bring you happiness. And I love these dolls from Minnie Rose Co. I love these quotes. I love the um, kit from her. 
um in the quote so sister beautiful uh and i love this doll from Nubian and rock chick and the florals from live love posh it's just it's a pretty spread it's just all over the place leave down in the comment section guys and let me know how you feel about it in addition to um letting me know how you feel about the spread let me know how you feel about these inserts now one of the things i'm thinking about doing is making this positive note box a little bigger maybe even to match this box over here initially i had made it smaller because i felt like if you wanted to bring in washi at the top or if you want to bring in a um a month then you need room to do that and what i'm seeing is i still have room to play around with i'm going to test the this particular layout without any changes for a couple of more spreads just to get a, a better feel of it and kind of see what i want to modify but as of right now i'm thinking i may want to make that bigger and that may change i may not even have a box right here or you know i may move things around leave down in the comment section and let me know guys what you like to see in your ideal uh, planner layout that will bring you that planner piece if you are new here and are not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then click the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. And then to all my existing subscribers, I appreciate your support. Thank you so very much. And I will talk to you all soon.